Hey guys, Kev here, and I uh, got something cool for you. So, this is the uh, Jack Wolf Knives After Hours Jack, which is based on the Jack Wolf Knives Midnight Jack, which is right here. Got some wax on there because that's how I store my slippies. Although, I finally smartened up thanks to you guys telling me I'm an idiot. And now that I have a dedicated case for my Jack Wolves, I keep them out of the slip. I just put them with the slip in the slot that's what she said anyway um yeah the midnight jack arguably the most iconic jack wolf design i personally love the feel good uh a little more and then i think midnight and venom are pretty side by side little bros right there a bunch of them low drag but anyway um we have a re-release this month and that would be the Midnight Jack. So I thought I'd show you those two and unbox this. Um, these are dropping, I believe, on the 16th. So next uh, week. Well, I don't know when it'll be for you guys. Thursday, I mean Friday, sorry. The uh, 16th. And uh, Ben from Jack Wolf Knives will be on the live stream on the 15th. So check it out. We got the cool ass chaotic resin right here. Soon as I saw the picture of these, I uh, <clears throat> sent a message to Ben. And I said, "Hey man, if you send uh, review samples out this month, I would love the chaotic resin." And um, I got lucky, and he sent me this. So check it out, Midnight Jack. He's uh, he's got his little suit on. He's got a cane. He's got a fucking cane. What a pimp. He's got one tooth. <laughs> Love it. Uh, is this artwork by... Yep, this is done by Jay Gonzalez. Jay Gonzo Art. Um, check him out. It's made in China, by the way. And it's $300, okay? Let's get that out of the way. This is a $300 knife. And I know. Some of you guys are like, it's not worth $300. And you know what? To you, maybe it's not. To me, it's worth $300. Easy. Get a cool slip. Get a green cloth this time. It's easy for you to say because you got it for free, Kev. Holy shit. Um, hold on. <laughs> I was mid-insult there. And then I got slapped in the face with chaotic resin. Holy shnikes. Um, yes, they sent me this. Is it free? I mean, technically, I guess. But I am making videos and shit. You know, I'm helping them. Um, I give them feedback. I bitch and complain. I show it off. I tell you guys how good it is. If it's good. Which, like I said, this is one of my favorites. Um... Yeah, but then I end up probably buying one anyway because I want a different color or another color or whatever. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. Anyway, $300. Look at this. Chaotic resin, baby. So this is made by a dude who makes uh, this material, which is pretty cool. It looks like it's just like all types of resins poured into a vat, and this shit comes out. And uh, I don't know if they picked a good one for me, but this is gorgeous. I was a little worried because I saw some that were like really white or really whatever. This has a lot of good color in it. Um, I do like that purple, but um, I'm a pink guy. So like I'm really happy with this um, 80s cut that I got on this knife. Other than that just empty splotch right there. What's that? Is that a white spot? Man, what is going on? What am I just noticing things now? Yeah, there's a little white spot in there. Maybe I chipped it. But anyway, I like the pinks. So, yeah. Let's feel it. That's what that's what I'm talking about right there, okay? That's some walk and talk. Listen to that. This took a little while to break in and get it the way I like it. Um, I can tell you right now, this is gonna be magnificent. Yeah, it's just gonna break in, and we're gonna get nice pops, and I'm going to love it. 
Um, so I will say that this slip is going to work really, really fucking well with this. Um, we got white, we got purple, right? I think this slip works with it. So I can just use this slip. Oh, I also think I have, uh, did I give it away? I gave it away. I'm an idiot. This one may work though. This one. <laughs> Yo. Ah, oh, sorry guys, I'm all over the place. This has some purple stitching. That kind of works, right? Actually, oh, uh, it's a little loose. So I'll probably just keep this with this one for now. I am going to get a custom slip made, of course. But that kind of works. And it would definitely work with this too, I think. Look at that. So, um, anyway. It's... I guess it doesn't feel lighter, but it is very light. I like this material a whole lot. Uh, one thing I like better than the Kiranite, so they had Kiranite on a few models. I don't think I have, no, I don't have any because I um, I sold the one that I got. I had the Kiranite Little Bro, uh, but I sold it and kept the Flow Party one because the Kiranite is really nice. It's polished but it's slick. So like my sweaty hands would slip all over it. This is smooth, but it has like, um, it, it, I'm not an expert, but it almost has like a bone feel to it. Um, man, this is really, really well done guys. Um, we are dead centered. We have no play. Thank you. We have a long pool. Let's see uh, what the differences are. So this is an M tray 90. Of course, there's wax all over it. Just disregard that. We have a extended sharpening choil. So you'll see here the sharpening choil comes up further on uh, this one. Did I go overboard on the wax? <laughs> you know, it's possible. There's some in the sharpening choil there, you know. Your boy's protecting his goods, you know. These are uh, collectible classics, in my opinion. So anyway, the sharpening choil is larger. You see that? Uh, swedge and everything looks the same. Triple bolster looks the same. Um, it does look like maybe just because I've carried this one a lot, it's worn a little bit. Looks a little darker on the blasting. Of course, that could be just every... Um, every one's going to be a little different, right? We have the same design there. Same design here, looks like. Same blade stock, same full height hollow. Yeah, I think we're rocking the same exact knife pretty much. We do have uh, S90B versus M390. I'm not sure if the um, the re-release of these, because this is from the original drop. I'm not sure if the re-release that they did through Sportsman's Warehouse, if those were S90B. I'm guessing they probably were. Um yeah, that feels really good. I'm going to clean this up real quick. So the way I do that, in case you haven't ever seen me do this, um, I take one of these little microfiber Q-tips, which reminds me I need to order more of these. Um, and I just clean up everything I can. Now, they put oil on these for you. They pre-oil them, which is nice. Um, so you don't have to worry about lubricating. But you get some of that black stuff. As these wear in, that's what happens, right? Um, so what I do is I take a little bit of KPL Heavy. And I put it on a little Q-tip microfiber jaw piece like this. And then I take a little bit, put it right on that corner. Tang corner. It's all about tang corners, folks. And then right there and right here. And those are my those are my three spots, and then you just work at it. Oh man, this is gonna be a banger when it wears in. Holy shit! I think it got a little stronger. Oh, I'm in love. I am in love. Now let's see. Are we touching the bottom at all? I don't see any marks or anything, so that's good. And we have this beautiful belt satin S90V, full height, hollow, just excellent cutter. Now, let's check the edge. 
because I will admit the last couple I got um, weren't perfectly sharpened. So let's see. From front to back, so she said. Yep. Really, really sharp. Feels good. Man, it looks so pretty. Uh, I mean, I immediately saw this stuff, and it's not even necessarily that I went, ooh, that's like the coolest thing ever. I need it. It was just like, I have to check this out. That was what my brain said. Um, I know that sounds weird, because it wasn't like, ooh, sexy, buy, get. It was like, have to handle. <laughs> But now that I do have it in hand, it is sexy have to get. So these are going to probably go really fast in this chaotic resin. But there's a couple other really cool versions that I dig. The reverse tux is the other one that really stood out to me. And I sort of still want to get that one just because um, it has a coated blade. And I don't have a midnight with a coated blade. So we'll see. Um, but here's the after hours with it. And we can do a little size comparison. Then I'll get you out of here. I've already rambled on way too long. Yeah, this is definitely lighter. I mean, you can just... I can probably one hand close this. Oh, that's another thing. If you guys remember, I had to um, file the edge of the spine because these were really sharp. That's something they've updated recently. But you can see I can close that one-handed pretty easily. This one... Oh, yeah, dude. They really did a good job on that. You don't have that sharp spine. And I, it's just a strong ass spring. Like I can't do it. But that um, that spine is not sharp. They uh, took those edges off. That's really nice. So good, good on them for that one. Um, so yeah, where this is probably like a six and a half, right? Six and a half on that. This is like a seven, seven and a half. And when I say that, I mean seven open to half, and then seven and a half, half to open. Uh, I meant close there, the first part. Anyway, shutting up. Sorry. Obviously the same size as the Midnight Jack, dummy. Um, but compared to the after hours, you can see the size difference. Um, by the way, this is a fabulous knife. I think some of these are still available. I recently took this apart because my clip was uh, moving. I had to tighten that screw down, which, you know, that's one downside to the design. You have to take the whole knife apart to just tighten the clip. But it looks cool that it's internally mounted. Um, but I got to re-loctite uh, it, retune this. And, I mean, there's no play. And uh, she's a swinger. So, um, yeah, really a fan. So... New Midnight Jack releases on the 16th. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think. I love you guys. Thank you to uh, Jack Wolf Knives. I always appreciate their support of the channel. And I appreciate your guys' support of the channel. There are links down below where you can pick this up on the 16th. Or if you want to pick up other ones that are available, use those links. Helps the channel if you would like to. And I love you guys. I uh, hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And... Um, I'll catch you later. Peace. Hey guys, Kev here. Your friendly neighborhood cut tester. Super scientific testing. I have a Midnight Jack in this beautiful chaotic resin. Check it. Chaotic resin. And uh, yeah, this is, this is a good one, guys. I love the Midnight. Always been a favorite of mine like to walk and talk on this particular version. Nice stiff spring, but I just wanted to cut some shit. See how it does, you know, the usual bullshit from me. I don't know what way I'm supposed to cut, but um, let's see. Okay, okay, maybe I'm cutting it wrong. Let's try this way. There you go. So, um, what else can I do? Because I keep doing that, and I don't know how helpful that is. You know what? Here we go. I got an Amazon box. I know this isn't going to be the... I'm checking for addresses. It's not going to be the best test here, but... Yeah. 
So I just wanted to get an idea there because I know part of this is me knowing how to cut and I suck. So, um, yeah, it's cutting through that like butter. Um, that other cardboard was kind of like warpy and shit. Now it was thicker though, which was a good test, but um, just to show you how this cuts, right? They come with a pretty good factory edge. Um, I think they could probably be a little better. I've had a few that um, weren't like super sharp or had some dull spots or something, but for the most part, you get a super thin, deep hollow grind. Um, and um, yeah, they come with a pretty good edge on it. You can see it's slicing my finger there a little bit. They're not really toothy. I'm not a sharpening expert but they seem to be sort of slick-like. slick, slick -like. Um, And that's one thing I don't love. Uh, I prefer to have a toothy edge because I don't care about a polished edge, like, aesthetically. And a toothy edge, to me, is better because it'll bite. So here's the uh, rope. Uh, I need to be careful with this because I'm pulling through. This is a slip joint, so it should be good as long as I don't put pressure on the... Uh, on the spine there, right? As long as I'm a genius, I don't put pressure on the spine. Yeah, it's cutting right through that, no problem. Put it down here. Now this is a uh, sheep's foot blade, so not gonna be the best for this because it's, it's flat, right? I don't know if you can see how flat that is, but the angle I have to get to get all the way through is, you know, uh, pretty low. And so it's not the best for that, but it did just cut it super clean. Um, sheep's foot blade in particular, I would say is best suited for utility cuts, which I can show you here. So what you wanna do is use that precision tip right there and you want to either push down into the material where you want to. So like, let's say I want to cut a door out here, cut that like that, that like that, and then this like that. And now I should be able to pop that out. That is literally what a sheep's foot Warren Cliff style blade is made for. That's what I love them for because they're good at that. I used to cut a lot of shipping labels out, so I'd have to cut, you know, four ways to get that label out of the printed paper until I got a, a label cutter, right? And um, I, thought that, I thought I cut deep enough, but that was me, I fucked up. Um, let's try that again, let's try it, let's try it again. I'll put a little more pressure. Once I got a label printer, I haven't had to do this as much, but it gave me that um, love for a. <laughs> it gave me that love for a sheep's foot Warren Cliff blade um, that has never gone away. So um, it is my favorite blade shape, sheep's foot in particular, and uh, that is why because it's really good at that kind of cutting. And as an Amazon box warrior, I'm doing a lot of this. Doing a lot of this. Whoosh, just cutting under tape, through the tape, right? And uh, these are fantastic for that. So uh, if that's what you're into, I think this is a fantastic knife for that. If you're looking for a um, outdoor skinner or something, this is not gonna be the best option. Then you want one of their um, clip points maybe, or spear points, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think on that. But there's a quick cutting demo, I love it. Uh, Midnight's always been a favorite of mine. It's uh, pretty slick in this chaotic resin. I also really like the reverse tux version and the other versions look good too. The dark matter copper has a lot of copper, it seems like, which looks cool. Um, but they are all different. So, you know, but uh, let me know what you guys think and uh, love you guys. Hope you have a great day. The drop is on the 16th, I believe, of February at 2 p.m. Eastern. I'll put links down below. Love you. Peace.